What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips I use in order to improve at Apex Legends. If you didn't know, I recently started playing and I feel like I've gotten fairly good in a short period of time. I am by no means a pro player and I still have a long way to go, but if you're considering playing Apex or you're new like I am, then this is the video for you. If you enjoyed today's video or you find any of this information helpful, consider dropping a like. And if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more Apex videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you get notified up to every time I upload a new video. Now let's go ahead and get right into the video. So out of every shooter, your aim is arguably one of the most important things. And for this reason, we need to make sure that our aim is on point. So there are two ways that I like to improve my aim. The first way is going to apply only to PC players. I'm sorry, console players, but you guys just don't have access to this. But what I like to do is use Kovacs. Kovacs is an aim trainer that provides multiple scenarios for you and even some that are tailored to specific games such as Apex Legends. Since Apex Legends takes longer than most shooters to knock somebody, your tracking needs to be on point. A year ago, I hired an aim coach to help me improve my aim and I have been still using his aim routine to this day. I also like to use the Kovacs aim routine for the Apex Legends scenario because I do think that that aim routine is also very good as well. In the description below, I'll have a pace bin of my aim routine that I got from my aim coach and you guys are able to use that at your free will, all for you guys. For the second half of my routine, this part will apply to console players as well. I like to get into the game and go into the firing range. I feel like this is very important because it helps you learn the recoil of every gun in the game. Doing this will help you become more comfortable with, with any gun that you guys pick up off the ground because you're not always gonna find the gun that you want right away. One useful tip for whenever you're in the shooting range is you guys can enable the bots. Now, while these bots are not very competitive, it still does help with your tracking because they do move around. So in order to do this, what you need to do is you need to go to this tunnel right here and you need to make sure that you have nothing in your inventory. Then you need to pick the legend that can get up to these rafters right here. You can use anyone like Loba, Horizon, Pathfinder, basically any character that can get up here. Now after your inventory is empty and you've gotten up here, what you need to do is you need to toggle your crouch button and you just need to change your legends while looking down in this spot right here. After doing so, you'll get this sound and you'll see that the bots will then be enabled in the shooting range and you can just go ahead and fight them as long as you feel like you need to to warm up your aim. On to the second tip. Apex is a game where the movement is momentum based. And I promise you, if you don't practice this movement, you're really not going to understand how to take full advantage of it. I like to get on and practice my movement for roughly 10 minutes and I still don't feel like I understand the movement to its entirety. Practicing your movement could be the thing that separates you from winning or losing your engagements. Things like wall jumps, tap strafing, slide jumping even, or edge sliding are all important things that you should know whenever you're playing Apex Legends. What I would recommend is every day that you get on, you get into the firing range and you just practice your movement. Just run around, practice these things that I stated, or even watch other YouTubers like Lyric, Fade, and Tim Provision. They all have really good guides to help master your movement. These are people that I've been watching to help me understand how to move better in Apex Legends, which kind of leads us into my third tip watching other players every single game that i've played i've watched people in order to gain ideas and tips and things that i can do to implement into my own play style this is especially important when you're watching someone who's incredibly guilt good at the game for things like that my favorite players to watch are obviously acu because his movement is incredibly good as well as his aim i also like watching fade because i find him to be very flashy and just to do things that i can't do that i would like to do and as mentioned earlier, Lyric is an incredibly good player. His mechanics are one of the best in the game. Then there's players like Lou who just have really good game, really good aim and positioning. And he puts himself in a position in order to hit the shots that he needs to hit. So basically just find someone that you're comfortable with watching that you can connect with the most and watch them as much as you can. And whenever you're not doing anything and you can help help you learn some things about how to implement into your own gameplay. Tip number four, I think is really important in things that you need to be doing if you're new to the game. The pacing for Apex Legends at times can be very slow. There's a lot of off time and you might not get into as many engagements as, you, as you'd like to. So to offset that, I think for tip number four that you need to be W King as much as possible. You need to get into as many fights as you possibly can, especially since how long winded fights can be in this game and they are very skillful and they're kind of hard. So you need to learn how to fight in engagements better. But if you're a player who likes to sit back and wait for other players to fight, you're not really going to understand how to get to an engagements when people push you. Apex Legends is notorious for third getting third partied, so you need to make sure that you understand what you need to be doing in order to disengage or position yourself better in a fight that has more than one squad involved. 
The more you W key, the more you have the potential to finish your fights quicker. This way, it less lowers the potential of you getting third partied. But at the end of the day, you just need to get into as many engagements as possible. That way you can be more comfortable while fighting. And for this last tip, this might sound a little cliche, but you need to make sure that you are learning from your mistakes. The most successful people in the world have all had massive failures and every time they've learned from them and that is how they're in the position that they are in today. This also holds true to gaming. You need to make sure that whenever you make a mistake that you understand the mistake that you made that way you don't make the same mistake again. Mistakes are crucial in the learning experience and this way that'll help you improve your own gunplay, your own movement, your own positioning and everything that you need to do in order to excel at Apex Legends. So those are the five tips that I use in order to improve at Apex Legends. Again, if any of this information was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot and it lets the algorithm know that you did enjoy the video. And if you want to further support the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you get notified every time that I upload a new video and I will see you guys in the next one.